Welcome back to Sunrise Daily. Continuing our focus on the interim reports released by the government on uh, the ongoing cases and the funds refunded. Uh, George Ubo joins us now, CEO of Panic Alert Security Systems. Thank you for coming on this morning. Thank you. Good morning. Well, um, at the moment, uh, many divided out there now about all of this publish or not. What do you think? Well, uh, first let me talk about what concerns me. Um, I was engaged by the federal government to trace funds trapped in financial institutions. And uh, within 27 days, I traced uh, in different currencies, aggregate, uh, 324 billion naira. So if the government is coming as a government, saying they traced a little over 100 billion in one year, you be the judge. Now, I want to uh, go back. I was on your show on August 27, last year, a day after I appeared uh, at the Senate against Lamode, EFCC. And I want to state that the stuff I sent you, part of the money is I trace uh, Access Bank, Kakawa Discount House, uh, funds jamming to EFCC. So to the extent that I made those allegations about EFCC, I have been, I have been vindicated. Uh, because the bulk uh, of allegation I had against Access Bank when I went to the Senate is that Access Bank has punched four-year uh, record for EFCC. And during the pendency of my engagement, I, Access Bank came to my office and I uh, was able to show them the account opening form to show that the, the time they stated that their banking relationship started with EFCC is not true. And of course, when they provided the record, I now found another account, fictitious account, that uh, EFCC maintains with uh, Assets Bank that they use for their round tripping and all that. Now, are you accusing EFCC? Of I have always accused them. Uh, I, mean, I have the evidence. That's not the issue here. The issue now is that with this engagement, I have been able to find the money EFCC is hiding and more. I've sent uh, the documents to Suleiman yesterday. In 27 days, I traced 324 billion naira. It's been in the public domain. The Attorney General who you know, signed the engagement letter or revoked, that's a different issue. The President has queried him. Uh, I, Are you aware I, I, that he, he wrote to the President asking the President to disregard the commentary that you were said to have recovered 1.9 trillion naira? You know that he wrote and it's published I'm, a, I'm, on aware, May. I'm aware of all that. We flew together for the anti-corruption uh, summit in London, as fate would have it. On May 10th, the same day I, had, I wrote an open letter to the president, and I confronted him with, you know, we spoke. I mean, we were Dubai to London. That was like six hours, 40, 40 minutes. And we addressed all these issues. He went into the fact that there was a public outcry out there. Uh, the Laya Mohammed, who I now call Laya Mohammed, no, led no, some no, other, no, 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 no. led some uh, other people, led some other ministers. Excuse to me, him. if we want to face the issue, we have to face the issue. Okay, we all right. To disparage okay. personalities. Okay. Who led other ministers to him that he must revoke my engagement uh, letter? And when we came back from the UK, I think on the 18th at FEC, Laya Mohammed declared at FEC that Nigeria is broke, so the chicken has come home to roost. You know, and now I have the record, the names, account numbers of all the monies I traced. You are the press people. You have to do your investigation, just like you did the FCC matter, till I was vindicated. The government has to answer. Why are these funds traced not? recovered. $582 million here from Keystone Bank are TSA funds. In the op my open letter to the president, I sent him a copy of, of the, of the, of the, uh, of the uh, leadership uh, newspaper, I stated clearly that the banks are flouting your TSA directive. How can a president issue what I call a cardinal directive that all MDA funds 
should be moved to Treasury single account. Okay, before we come to that part, uh, right. part of that letter, uh, the 19 page letter, mm. which was addressed to the Chief of Staff, uh, Albert Kerry, was also said that you were appointed in error. And the letter also says that, uh, <laughs> uh, that having not personally known that yes. you had been previously convicted in yes. the United States yes. for bank fraud and yes. was recently jailed by yes. uh, the FCT High Court for yes. fraud related issues. This is all contained in that letter. Yes. You, uh, uh, you see, any time I'm coming on the show, even when I made allegation against the FCC, the most convenient excuse for everybody is to say he's an ex-convict. You know, Michelle Obama and uh, Barack Obama said, "When they come below the belt, you go above the belt." I don't, I don't fit into that. If the evidence I proffered against the FCC is fake, arrest me. If the evidence I have proffered regarding my tracing is fake, arrest me. What, did, what does that got to do with anything? Is he denying that he signed the engagement letter? He says it's been terminated. Okay, no, no, but, 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 but what I trace is... No, I'm not talking about it. I've ne even when I made him on the plane, I have never and I will never go into the issue of the revoc revocation. Recover what I traced during the uh, dependency of the engagement. You, in fact, it's good for me that it's, it's revoked because what I've done is unprecedented. For me to work for 27 days and I traced 324 billion, the government, federal government, in a year traced, I mean, recovered one third of that. So I even like that for my record. But the point remains, I want you guys to delve into the, 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 the facts I've brought out, the documents I've brought out, authenticate the documents. You have the account numbers, account names, currencies. Look into it. As the government, why haven't you recovered these funds? That is the issue here. Have you seen the publication on the EFCC website that you had bagged a three-year term for fraud? I'm not denying that. I'm here to talk about this. The day I was convicted, and I still say that I'm celebrating my conviction. You know why? Because my conviction elevated me to the status of all the idols I admire all over the world who have been arrested, detained, in some cases jailed for fighting corruption and injustice globally. It comes to the territory. I'm not going to go into the merits of the case I'm on appeal, but if I gave you a car with, 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 with do, tied to document, that car belongs to you. But for the judge to say that he didn't, couldn't prove their case and he went into, that's a different matter. But I'll tell you, if I don't win that case on appeal, I will come here and give you $10,000 each after I exhaust my appeal, if I lose my appeal. Even that you, you lost I will the come here, <laughs> I will come here and give you $10,000 each, three of you. Mark it today, June 6, 2016. This is, this is a bomb case. So what do you think happened in the first instance when you lost? You did, I, I mentioned to you when I was on your show, I said, read Ubo versus Reno. Nobody cared to read. I was on, uh, on a show last month, uh, Silver Bread in Abuja, where I'm based. Some guy, uh, Matthew, called and said, why hasn't anybody read this case? You mentioned this case, I read it. On point, I beat the case. Go, Ubo, as I'm talking to you, U B O H V period versus Reno. Janet Reno was Attorney General in the U.S. Read the case. I'm tired of talking about that. But the point is, anybody, I still say that any Nigerian who has been privy to the evidence I have against the FCC now, the federal government, AGF, and who, who is nonchalant or indifferent to these issues is part of the problem. So if you Because say, I want you to look into what I have. Now, if, if uh, the Ubu versus Reno then says that, yeah, you were convicted in the error, they quashed all those charges and cleared your names, mm -hmm. why then do you think that uh, there's so much focus on the government is saying, no, we shouldn't have gotten you in the first place, so we can't even look at all the documents you brought? I, I, I just said that. The government vis-a-vis -vis Malami reserves the right to appoint, to engage, or disengage. I told you that when we met. But 
if I'm to tell you the genesis of it, he courted me. He asked me, come over. I mean, he's been in the public thing that I went to jail in the U.S. or whatever. He said, look, come and make, because they know what I have. They know the evidence I have. So this money is recovered. So look at the date of engagement. I went to Senate last year, August. He engaged me February this year. You guys read between you the know, lines. You know, let's, let's, when I went to Senate, the issue of ex-convict was it was, was, was let's happening. Look, let's look at you know I mean? what was recovered. Exactly. Uh, you say you were able to recover. Trace, not recall. Yeah, trace. Right. Okay. Because well, I'm to trace. I don't you you, you have were to trace. To recover, yeah. But you also recall that he said you were going outside the purview, outside the scope given to you in that letter. Yes. I, uh, after he wrote but, that letter. But did you actually, did you actually no, no, do that? No, no. After he wrote, I told you we, we flew together after he wrote. It was just a stroke of fate. He mentioned that I went over my overhead luggage. I brought the stuff I sent you before. I said, look, AGF, when you are tracing, it's like an octopus. For instance, from Access Bank, accounts, EFCC is maintaining 50,000. We had to write, I wrote EFCC to come to my office and explain. A $230 million uh, deposit NNPC, of course, you know, they have over 300 NNPC accounts, fake accounts. The account name says NNPC slash Demola Banjo, some guy that was, you know, Bank VHB, Francis Atuche. Now, how do you open? An NPC account with your name and your address. So, as someone tracing these funds, you know it's going to lead me to that. Am I making sense? And all these are here. So, when I showed the AGF, we was all looking. I said, maybe you don't know the job you gave me, or maybe you are, we were just pressured by people. The job, I, I, the I, I, job I guess, you gave guess, me guess, demands public outcry. I guess you also understand the implication of uh, words you use here that uh, you just might be held account, you hold. Uh, held to account for words you used. You just said fake accounts owned by the NNPC. Right. Is that what you said? Right. Fake accounts. Yes. I and say fake and I can defend it. You can if defend NNPC it. If NNPC has an account, slash somebody else's name, it doesn't have NNPC's uh, address, then it's, it's not a real NNPC account. But because it's NNPC, is federal government funds, I have to add it to you know the, the, the tracing I'm doing. When you were disengaged and he said you should, uh, in that letter, mm -hmm. that ever within 48 hours you should give a list of all banks and entities uh, or persons to whom you had earlier sent some of these uh, correspondence and demand to, uh, did you furnish the agent? I furnished, but not within 48 hours. And reason being, why should I comply strictly to his uh, whatever you want to use directive when he did not. He sent me a letter of the revocation, but he did not address all the, all the mail I sent him regarding what I have traced. You don't do that. I'm, it's because I'm not even fighting the revocation. Even people, eminent people, in a, people that are in the presidencies too, ask him, this is very wrong. But again, I don't want to do that.